New York Times, I thought I'd, re I'd really reached a pinnacle. Mm. That was great. I also loved, and we're talking about the 1960s, going into the New York Times, going to the sixth floor and getting my, my paycheck, $6,000. It's a very successful um, uh, endeavor when you do endeavor. That. Yeah. Now your uh, time. Uh, you you talk about New York Times and all the rest of it, and you you don't uh, write for them, but you still read the paper. Correct. But you would write for them again if you could put the book aside. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, you can only do so much. I'm I'm writing my book, so you want to get that done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you're uh, when you're writing your book, do you uh, in, in the the diary set is really the thing that's been the most helpful to you with that? Yeah, because without it, you just wouldn't have remembered anything, no. right? No, the memory is one thing, right? The, the diaries diary. are another. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're you you sort of had different decades of life, but you sort of have different phases. You've enjoyed them all, or were any that were there any particular ones that stood out for you in life? The sixties stood out for many, many people who. The sixties were really vibrant. Um, there was a great deal of optimism in the air. It was just a, it was a great, just a great decade, a mm -hmm. great decade. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you've had an interesting life. Yeah, interesting life. Now uh, I think this is going to wrap it up for part one of the series. The the first five uh, hours that we have of the series. Will you come back next? Uh, I think uh, we start up here soon, so we won't be able to get back to the studio until later. But maybe at Christmas we can do one. Yeah. How does that sound? The Christmas sounds with great. Desmond? Yeah. Desmond's Christmas DVD. Yeah. Uh, you'll come back and tell us how the book's doing? Yeah. It's like we've got a little talk show here. <laughs> and then maybe you can bring more pictures the next time. Yeah, and well. We can, uh, because the pictures are kind of helpful to yeah. go through. Hey, what, what are you wearing? What shirt are you wearing there? What's that? What does your shirt say? Yale, does it? Yeah, th that, that's a different shirt. How many Yale shirts do you guys have? I don't know. Did but she not go to Yale? No, nobody went to Yale. She just liked that school. Yeah. Maybe there was something, because it was sort of an Ivy League school, maybe it was like wearing yeah. Abercrombie and Fitch or something back then, right? Possibly. Yeah. I got Good. no clue. No <laughs> idea. Well, Desmond, thanks for talking to us. Thanks, Gary. And uh, we're, uh, we're wrapping it up, and that'll be it for the series on the Desmond Smith, uh, the video. And we'll pick it up at Christmas, so in a few months we'll come back, have you up again, and we'll talk about the... Desmond Christmas, how that looks. Oh, that sounds great, Good. Gary. Thanks Thank again, you, buddy. Uh, just, I'm going to fade to black, so if you just want to hold on for a second, got to squeeze past the camera. Okay. And uh, I'll just zoom in with you. Hold on. we got to finish with a close-up. And you can just... Uh, do you want any, any final words, any final thoughts to the camera? None. Before we're done? Uh, right. Thank you for today. Oh, you're welcome.